hello everyone welcome back to our tutorials uh, we forget uh, last time to create our bearing cap so we'll go and create it as usual we'll, I'll use my home part let's go to our part and see this is our bearing cap as we can see it's almost a copy of the bearing hose here so same dimensions because it will close on this uh, it will close the bearing so we as usual will use this part as a derived part to, con to construct or create our part we'll both go back to inventor and create a sketch oh sorry before creating a sketch as we said okay we will we, we'll, uh, cancel and drive apart this is our part drive to our workplaces and where is our cap here is our cap and we will open it here don't forget to take it as a surface in order to get rid of it when we finish click OK and here is our cap so our sketch we will create a sketch now 2D sketch and we'll have it on the top of the bearing hose here and we'll project geometry be sure to project the correct geometry not the fill it down can you see it's, it's a little bit it's project geometry we'll take this arc with this one and this one okay 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 and this one click finish it does extrude it and we'll see how our dimension here is uh, where is it okay it's four millimeter let's go back okay back and give it four millimeter click OK take the visibility off of this part now and we'll create the inner okay sketch project geometry okay offset and the dimension as I remember is 6 here let us check yes the inside the image is 6 okay go back finish the sketch and in order to be precise I'll turn this on again and extrude my geometry extrude this one too and I'll take this surface here I'll wait until I have my choices face one no use your wheel to switch between these faces until you'll have okay two three no okay oh my god and I'll wait two three and this is my face face 5 click and extrude it to this face so it will be fit click OK now we can take this out visibility and here is our part the last thing we'll do we'll create one millimeter project geometry here and from the center tangent with this I'll check 3-5 millimeter yes let's check our drawing we have 3-5 millimeter uh, 1 millimeter there can you see 10 minus 9 1 millimeter ok I'll go back finish the sketch and extrude it to 1 millimeter 
click OK click Save Bearing Cap and hit Save what else we have to do? we have to do some holes here we have counter bore hole this is my counter bore hole it's uh, 14 through 32 6 ok counter bore 32 6 14 just check is it right? yes 14 32 6 everything is fine ok it's concentric hole this face concentric with this face click apply and we need another two counter bores for our M3 socket head screws let us check yes we have two here it's uh, 3.5 and the counter bore will be 6.5 on 4 millimeter deep 3.5 4 okay and then 6.5 4 3.5 it's concentric, yes. Here with this face, apply. And here with this face, okay. Save. This is our part. I'll uh, make a fillet here. Two millimeter. Click OK. Everything is fantastic. Let us give it a uh, material we'll hit S on our keyboard in order to go to S and we'll give it a steel change the appearance to match our body it's zinc to me too and we'll change our working surfaces to steel polished so where is our working surfaces we'll choose this extrusion with this extrusion I'm keeping my finger on the control key to choose all of them okay we have them all and we'll change them to steel galvanized steel polished okay yep this face it will be working area 2 and I'll change it to the steel polished so here is my part okay let us see it uh, view in real life it will be like this yep very fine hit the home save and we'll see you next video in order to assemble continue assembling our parts goodbye for now